I started yesterday. Oh, you began yesterday. I did yeah. too. But oh my God, now I am I am the process of uh, Eva. You know, oh, it is oh, very far, uh, very long. Stress. So tedious. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's so hard. Yes, it is. Yeah. But in the name of Jesus, I will. I will. I will get the victory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over there is coming the teacher. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Bajale un poquito el volumen, por favor. Gracias. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are good you guys? Evening. That's good. Yesterday, I yesterday I lost my class because the device didn't work at all. You missed it. Uh, yeah, I missed it. Yeah, you missed the class. Really? What device? Oh, your cell phone and the computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. what yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Yesterday was Monday. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. Okay. So, how was your Monday? Very work it. <laughs> Bien trabajado. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. And tomorrow will be the same because we are in the, um, well, in the process of IVA, you know? Oh, taxes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taxes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I noticed some of you were asking for help on the chat. Correct order. Section tr three of the midterm. Okay, uh, this week we're supposed to finish the midterm, finish up to, uh, well, well, basically everything, right? Uh, the, the sooner, the better. It makes me happy when a friend takes out, takes me out to lunch. Mm hmm Okay, okay. Joaquin was helping everybody. Okay, that's good. Yeah, sometimes there's a little discrepancy between your answers and the platform, right? Mm -hmm. That's yep. kind of trouble. Okay, so let's get this started. Uh, tonight, we're going to do some listening exercises. And we're going to answer. Um, I like this exercise, this listening exercise on exercise 2.10 2.10 on your platform let me just share the screen with you there you go okay um 2.10 it's it's an audio about some positions some job positions it's just two minutes and a half so let's listen to it and then you give me the answers okay all right Try to take notes if possible. Let's see. Listening to descriptions. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, 
It's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay, that was interesting, actually. Um, uh-huh. Oh, why did I stop sharing? Hold on. Let's get that ready. Okay. So, uh-huh. What kind of job does Carlos do? A uh, tutor for kids. Tutor for kids. Tutor for kids. Yeah. Tutor for kids. I have an extra question for you. Did you catch any new words? Any new verbs? Phrases? No? Not really? Okay. Okay. What kind of job does Julia do? It's uh... She's she's a telemarketing agent. Yes. Yeah. So she was the last the last one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. What kind of job does Paul do? He's a chef. He works in a kitchen. Kitchen. He's a chef assistant. Chef assistant. assistant. Okay, he's a chef assistant. So he's the one cutting the vegetables. No. No. Yes, he's cutting. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wash dishes. <laughs> and washing the dishes. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Who doesn't like like what they do and why? Uh, Paul. 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 Mm -hmm. Paul. Paul doesn't really Paul. like his job Paul. because it's really hard work. Because yeah. it's really hard work. It's really hard work. It's really hard. Work. It's, really hard. it's really hard in the kitchen. Okay. Carlos doesn't like his job because he doesn't like kids. Mm, didn't hear that. Julia doesn't like her job because she doesn't get along with her co-workers. Lie, right? So, Paul. Yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah. Paul doesn't like his job. Let's see. Yay, you got it. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute. What job is better? I will say tutor for kids, at least for me. Why? Tutor for kids. Um, I like to work with kids, and uh, I love math. And um, I don't like to work in telemarketing. I work in call center for many years, and it's not a good thing. So really? <laughs> yes. In Spanish? Uh no, in English. In English. <laughs> what what happened? I worked for uh, at sites for Expedia. Oh, oh. I work in um, Atento for mm -hmm. Avianca. No, really? And, um, yes, and right now I'm working for Blackhawk, but as a with me account specialist. It's not call center. It's something oh, more with, with me. Did you work at Blackhawk? Yeah, I do. I do, and I'm in, on disability right now. I really. <laughs> yeah, because of the COVID. Uh huh. And I work from home um, with disputes. Disputes. Yeah, I'm on disputes. Okay. I'm resolving cases. I'm not taking calls. Well, I work, but um, directly with the people in United States as an account specialist. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. And you're just trying to practice English. That's interesting. What happened is that I learn English just by myself. And sometimes when I am speaking with my boss, I'm getting afraid to make mistakes because I haven't practiced a lot, because I haven't 
taking classes, I think the grammar is something hard for me. Mm. So, and that's why I'm mm. here because I'm practicing and normally I don't practice, just read emails. Oh, I got your emails. point. Yes. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> if you need extra help, just let me know, okay? Thank you. And I mean, any, any advice on what to do okay. on, meeting, on meetings and everything. And if you need something from me, I, I've been I've been told many times to become a supervisor right. <laughs> at the time. I just don't have yeah. the time. Right. I know it's too demanding. I mean, do you, they need you 24 seven? Yes, that's, that's reality. That's reality. OK, let's move on. So uh, we have a second listening. And I want your opinion. And now on this one, I need you to pay attention and try to write down any any um, new vocabulary that you find on the on the audio um, verbs, especially models, phrasal verbs, maybe that you may hear. And in general, I need your opinion. You know, I want to hear from you a natural conversation, something like, oh man, uh, I think this girl is a little bit rude. Um, I have a cousin who acts like that, man. And if it, if it was me, I will just, you know, that's what I want to hear from you. Natural speaking, giving me your opinion about the video, okay? You got it? Ready? Yes. Okay, yes. take notes. Mm -hmm. I love this part. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a, a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too. And my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? OK. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, OK? Don't worry, Ann. I will. <laughs> What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! <laughs> Turn down the volume. Oh. Thank you. I'm starving. Starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Mine? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. Okay. 
I love this part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? <laughs> I guess a good book can still bring people together. Please turn down the volume. Need to eat. Okay. Good. I need your opinion, your thoughts really quick about this video. There's a lot of vocabulary that you can gather from it. The last phrase, I already forgot it. Oh, my God. Mm. Ah, I forgot the last phrase, and I was repeating it to myself. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? You two really seem to hit it off. You two really seem to hit it off. Okay. Your general thoughts. What what's on your mind? A volunteer, if not a victim. Someone is asking for a favor, but um, uh, abusa. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Abusa. How do you say that? How do you say abusa? Take advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. advantage of the other person and the girl is very lazy <laughs> it's a girl she's in eighth grade so mm -hmm. she she's like 13 or something yeah, well but it it doesn't means that she she's the right to do what she wants Oh, uh, she, uh, she, to... she has the right to this song. Uh -huh, I got you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, she, or, or she's right to do what she wants. Mm -mm. No, no. <laughs> yeah, at the beginning, it, 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 that's the first impression I got. That mm -hmm. she, she wanted to do whatever she wanted, right? No homework. I want to watch the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any phrasal verbs? Any verbs or phrases oh yes of course turning down turn it down a little bit well and uh, that means that she wants that the volume was down. oh exactly how do you say bajar el volumen uh -huh. yeah. turn, turn, down. turn down the volume turn down turn down turn down a volume. Down a volume. Down a volume what about subile Turn up. Turn up. Turn, up. turn up. turn up the volume. Turn up, turn down. Okay. Excellent. Very good. What else? What else do you got? A uh, phrase, help me out. Uh, always hear about only help me. But the, the complete phrase is help me out, I think. Uh-huh. And that's because yeah. it's a phrasal yeah. verb to help out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, this is a separable phrasal verb. I told you before, phrasal verbs are just yeah. a verb and a preposition. Yeah. A verb and a preposition. Now, some of them are separable, meaning that you can put something in the middle. So yeah. you say, help me out. Yeah. Help yeah. me out. Um, wake me up. Wake me up. 
September ends. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. Wake me up when September ends. Yeah, good song. <laughs> um, what else? Wake, Wake me, me up before you go. Before you go, go. Uh huh. <laughs> Bam. What a name of horror. Uh, uh, always when that that um someone asks a request, always says polite. For example, would you mind? I guess, hmm. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Not all the time, right? You, yeah. Could you please? Yeah. Now, something that called my attention on the video in general is the part where she offers food to the little girl. Did you understand everything that she offered? No. Uh, no. I, hey, I might at all. I might at all. I don't, I don't know what is. Yeah, it, it was a little confusing, right? I'm a roll. She say, "Whip." <laughs> Whip. I, ha I have, yeah, I have something. Strawberries. She speaks very fast. Let's see. Um, Megan, could you turn that down a little bit? What? Okay, so we have turn that down a little bit. Turn oh. that down a little oh. bit. Yes. Okay, that's a phrase. Turn that down a little bit. Could you please turn down the volume? Could you please turn down the volume? I will. Thank you. I'm starving. That. Okay. I'm How, starving. I'm starving. What's starving? Do you know? Do you understand starving? Absolutely. Está muriendo de hambre. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's when you're starving. hungry. It's when it's you're no, no, no. When you're hungry. But extremely hungry. Yeah. Uh, how do you uh, how do you write? How do you write it right now? Okay. Starving. Yes. Starving. Starving. Okay. Starving. People in Africa starve <laughs> to death. Starving. Yeah. They they are starving, starving. in Africa. Wow. Yep. Starve. <laughs> starving. Okay. What I would say to him is, and me, and. Come again, Sandra. <laughs> I'm a starving, and. And. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't say and. You say. <laughs> you don't say and. You say. Uh, so what? So what? So <laughs> what? Yeah, or you just you just go like, who cares? <laughs> right. <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Not any problem. So what? <laughs> not, 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 my, yes. not, not, not my, my business. business. Not my business. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. So, oh. Someone tells me he. Some someone tells me, um, I want some water. Oh really? Oh really? Oh really? Good for well, you. If you don't say, please give me some water. I don't understand you anything. Oh good. Watch your manners. Watch your manners. There you go. Okay, let, let's listen. Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's only four in the afternoon. So? Oh, my God. Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? Okay. Carrots? Carrots how and apple? about carrots and some carrots and apples? Carrot sticks. And apple. 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 Carrot sticks. Sticks and, apple. um, and apples. Again, uh, how about some carrot sticks and apples? What else have you got? I have uh -oh. some strawberries and whipped cream. Uh, I missed it. I missed got? it. I'm serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm starving. Huh? Find something to eat. Oh. It's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay. How about some carrot sticks and an apple? Carrot sticks yeah. and an sticks. apple. apple. Carrot sticks. sticks. Do, do, do you like carrot sticks? I don't know. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't, don't know, like know what them. it is. You don't know what is it? I don't know. Like carrot a, sticks. Carrot sticks. Just, just pieces. Yeah, yeah little. Yeah. Exactly. Beautiful Spanish. Oh. Little <laughs> pieces. <laughs> <laughs> little no, carrot yeah, yeah. pieces. And no. It's just no. sticks. Sticks ah, yes, yes, and yes. an apple and an apple and an apple. Repeat and an apple. And an, and an apple. apple. Sounds weird, right? Carrot sticks and an apple. 
Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Now repeat the whole phrase. How about yeah. some carrot yeah. sticks and apples? How about some carrot sticks and apples? How about some carrot apples? How about some carrot sticks and 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 apples? How about some about come on repeat how about you how about you how about you how about you i'm good how about you how about you how about you i'm good how about you how about you how about you how about you estas frases te van a hacer sonar más americano, ¿eh? Mucho cuidado. No, decir, no digas, how about you? Ok, no, just how about you. What about, what, what about you? 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 There you go. Ok, let's move on. Let's move on with the food. I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Some strawberries. Strawberries, strawberries with cream. cream. Strawberries with cream. With cream. With cream. With cream. With cream. What with is cream. that? Whipped. Whipped cream. With cream. What is whip? Whipped. With cream. With cream. Batida. Crema batida. Ah, whipped cream. Crema batida. Well, that's right. Whipped. The fresa. <clears throat> Some strawberries and whipped cream. And Could you whipped. please write it down, teacher? Right away. Whips. And whipped, whipped cream. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Whipped ah, cream. Whipped, whipped, whipped cream. cream. Whipped, whipped, whipped. Yeah, okay, yeah. Whipped, whipped, whipped. whipped in a participle. How about a pizza? It's in a participle. Plain. I think it's a veggie pizza. Okay, did you hear that? No. I had some pizza on the fridge. What she did? What she did? What, she did? what about pizza? No, no, no. And she said, "Plain." Do you understand that? No, uh, no, no. And then she says, "Uh huh." Plain in ingredients. What's plain? Oh, it's a question for what ingredients have the pizza. Yeah, what ingredients are in the pizza? So a plain pizza. It's like a standard, a ham pizza or pepperoni plain pizza. pizza. Plain. plain. A, syn a synonym for Norma. plain. A synonym. Norma. A synonym for plain could be flat. A flat pizza. Flat. Oh. Plana. Flat. 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 Right. <laughs> flat. Normal. Flat. Plain. Normal. Normal. Okay. Do you like plain spaghettis? No, I no. Don't. no, no, I don't, I don't like it. it. You like them al dente? I don't like it lingually. I prefer spaghetti. <laughs> okay, but do you, how do you like your spaghetti? Uh, Italian? Al dente? Uh, yeah, al dente. I, I don't know how do you say uh, al dente. Yeah. Al dente? No. Well, is is that the same how do you say in it? Spanish and, and in English or is it different? Al dente is, is Italian. Es la right? cocción de la masa, entonces. No, 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 no. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of the cooking of the dough is the cooking of the dough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, how the dough is cooked. How, how do you, how do you, hold on, how do you write down dough? Dough. D O U. <laughs> you, you. Yeah. Th. There you go. It's the yeah. cooking of the dough, but also the pasta. Okay, al dente means that you just put it out on the boiling water for exactly five minutes and you yeah. take it out and then you put the the pasta on top of it. And that's it. It's just tomatoes, you know. But it, and oil. But it is, but it is, <laughs> it's like Come on. Oil. Yeah, <laughs> Maruchan. Maruchan. Queda cruda. It's like raw, no. exactly. It's, it's based, like raw. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, good work. <laughs> it's kind of Maruchan, could be a little bit. Okay, so that's plain. No. That's plain. No. Plain eggs. 
I love yeah. plain eggs. Teacher. Scramble. Plain yes, eggs. I love. Yeah. Hey. Teacher, how do you say? What did you say that the meaning of the the word D O U G H dough? Okay, repeat. What's yeah. the meaning of dough? Uh -huh. What is the meaning of dough? Please. Mass. 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 Yeah. Exactly. Ah, Thank you. Beautiful Spanish. Oh, there okay. you go. Mess. <laughs> mess. You. Come on, guys. Avoid using Spanish. I, I made the mistake. I'm sorry. Don't don't use Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's the meaning of dough. The pizza dough. Pizza dough. Okay. Where else? Uh, I think that's it, right? Okay, and then she starts preparing the food for the little girl and so on. Hey, every time you listen to something, try to capture more vocabulary out of it. So what did we hear on this video? We are going to talk about modals, okay? Yes, if clauses and gerunds. Yes. I'll share with you, in fact, right now I'm about to share with you through WhatsApp, a PDF file with all the explanation for models. Ooh. Okay, it's 22 it's pages. It's 22 pages. Man, it's 22 pages. Oh. I love that PDF because it involves the whole thing, you know, all the models. And in general terms, guys, hold on. In general terms, models Hi. do not accept other auxiliaries. Be careful. You cannot say, I can, don't, dance. Mm -hmm. Right? Models are their own auxiliaries. Okay? You follow? Yes. Okay, I gotta make the question. Um, is this new for someone here? Mm, yes. Is this new for you, the use of models? Yes, I was wondering if you'd mind, for example, letting me use your laptop. Letting. Uh, how to make requests. Okay, hold on. I'm just copying this little chart for you. So you can, there you go. Okay, it's on your chat now. There you go. So let's see. Let's go from less formal requests with models to the most formal. Can. When you say can, you may sound rude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can. Okay. Uh, can I borrow your imperative. pencil? It's, it's more imperative. imperative. Perfect. Exactly. Can I borrow your pencil? Can I go to the bathroom? It's like, I, I have to, I need to do it. So I, it's not an option. You have to, you have to let me go. You have to borrow me your pencil because I don't have a pencil. Okay. It's a little bit order. It's like an order. Yeah. yeah. Sort of order. Okay. It's different to say, could you borrow your pencil? It's could, maybe. could I borrow your pencil? I'm sorry. Yeah. Could you lend me a jacket? Teacher, what's the difference between borrow and lend? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, there is a difference. There is a difference. If I borrow, if I borrow five dollars from Yancy, I will, I will give her back the money. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if I lend her five dollars, I will never give her back the money. Uh, you give. Okay. okay. <laughs> so if I ask you, could you lend me a jacket? A jacket, any jacket. It's because I'm not giving it back to you. Okay. Yeah. She told me. She told me. <laughs> yeah, it's like with my wife, you know, when I <laughs> when I went to her house and I asked my father-in-law, "Can could you lend me your daughter?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, 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 said, he said yes, so I had to get married, right? 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope you understood. You lend something, you don't get it back. Okay. Yes. You, you borrow something, then you're getting it back. Okay. Now, be careful with this. Is it okay? Is it okay if I use your cell phone, your phone? Is it okay if I use your phone? Is it okay? Now, be careful with this because it's very common it's to make okay. the mistake of saying, it is okay to say, hey, did you get it? Be careful, don't say, it is okay. That's not a question. The auxiliary comes <laughs> first. Is it? Is, is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah. Repeat. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay? Okay. Is it okay if it okay? I called you, Danny? Is it okay if I called you, Danny? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Is it okay, is it okay yeah, if I called you, Walt? Is it okay if I called you, Walt? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is it okay if I called you, Walty? <laughs> no, that's not okay, right? No. Oh, come on. No. Okay. okay, you got the point. You got weird. the point. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Very good. Is it okay? If, is it okay if? Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Do you mind? Hey, do you mind if I use your city partner? Do you mind if I use your bathroom? That is more polite. A little bit. Yeah. More polite. Polite. Mm -hmm. Now. Be careful. How do you answer to this question? When somebody yeah. asks you, do you mind if, if do you mind if I go out with your sister, Joaquin? What? I think. Do you mind if I hang out with your sister? <laughs> I don't have a sister. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. But let's say you, you have a sister. So how do you answer? How do you answer this question? Yes, I do or okay no, I don't. Me. It's okay for me, teacher. I don't mind. It's I don't for, mind. You know, okay. Don't mind. Possible answers. I don't mind. I don't mind. No, no. I don't mind. Yeah. I don't yeah. mind. That's no fine. problem. No problem, buddy. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with no that. problem. Okay. Yes, of course. Why? Because if you say yes, then you have a problem, right? Then you mind. You if get I will mind. If I you, will... Yes, I will mind. No and if I say, teacher, if Evan is in my face, she's an adult. Oh, she's an adult. <laughs> oh, she's an adult. Don't worry. Yeah, with my example. Yeah. But do you mind if I eat your food, Sandra? <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> do you mind? I don't mind. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hmm. Do you mind if I take your car? I don't want either. Oh my god! Never mind. Because I don't, mind. Because I don't, I don't have, have a car. I don't have a car. For <laughs> <Good> example. <laughs> okay, but so, so so how do you how do you neglect? How do you say um, no? Yes, I mind it. Yeah, you know what? I I do I do mind. Mm -hmm. I do yeah. mind. Yeah. I do mind. Yeah. I I have I have to go somewhere, so you cannot take my car. I'm sorry. Okay. You got it? Yes. yes. Okay. So you mind? Do you mind? Okay. Will it be okay? Will it be okay? Is it okay? Will it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? Teacher, will it be okay if I do the midterm exam on pick it, it Wednesday? Okay. Pick it up. Yeah, that's okay. Ah, pick it up. You or what? Or what? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. okay, and again, no, I wouldn't. 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 No, I wouldn't mind. I'm okay with that. No, it's I fine. wouldn't mind. It's fine with me. It's you okay got it? by me. 
For me? It's a, mm, for me. It's for okay, me. okay with me. I'm sorry. It's okay with me. Doesn't matter. With me. I, I have no trouble. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, be careful. You may find this somewhere. It don't matter to me. Matter to me. It don't what is the difference to, to, to put the preposition to to me it or for me, teacher? I, I, it get confused for me. It for don't me, matter. Don't matter. Okay, be careful with this. This is caliche, okay? This is ah, slang, okay? Mm. And who did that? Who did that? It was mm -hmm. bred in 1970, I think, 1970 something, 1978. It don't matter to me, okay? Bread. You know who's bread? No. Really? No. Oh. Bread. You told me how to live. No? No. no. I'm not going to sing for you. Don't worry. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> the songs. Really? Song very nice. Uh, the Guitar Man. With the Guitar Man. Guitar Man. Guitar Man. You can make you cry. <laughs> you can make. I can't remember about the lyrics. Okay, anyways. So, bread. Just Google it. It has he has a lot of songs. I mean, a lot of songs, but they're all love songs. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Would you mind if? Okay, would you mind letting? Now let's look at the difference in the grammar here. So, yes. would you mind if, if you use the if clause? Okay, what will start again is a subject plus a verb. Hmm? In past. Let's see. Hmm. We have simple present. If I use your cell phone, if I use your CD, if I picked up, if I picked it up, hmm, I wouldn't mind having past participle or present simple. If I borrowed your digital camera. Now, what happens if you use would you? Then you need to use the past participle of the verb. Would you mind if I borrowed, if I picked it up, if I told? Let's say, would you mind if I told? So let's study this subject. If we use would, okay, and then we use the clause if, mm -hmm. we need to start a new sentence with subject plus the verb in past participle okay would you mind if i told your story excellent for sure. For sure. would you mind if i told my wife about you okay uh, plus the compliment i don't know would you mind if i told her like like uh will smith would you mind if you... <laughs> talk about my wife yeah yeah they keep talking about my wife uh -huh. <laughs> Man, that was bad. That was really, that was bad. Um, now, let's look at the next example. I wonder if. Do you understand what is I wonder? And I wonder. Uh, yeah. and I, wonder. Yeah. I ask to myself. Come on, guys. I, I ask to myself. Ask to myself. Yeah, that, that's the meaning of I wonder. So, lemon tree? Lemon tree, yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder if. Look at the example. You have a subject, then a model, no. okay? Then a verb in its base form could be, okay. Now, kids nowadays are learning because they break it down. They break down a sentence and they understand what's yeah. the composition of the sentence, which is what we're doing right now. I was wondering, what's this? What is the grammar tense in this? Subject plus was. I was wondering, past, wondering past, past, past in mind. Past what? Well, well, progressive. Past continuous. <laughs> past continuous or progressive. Past continuous, good. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and then you have if. If. Now we have. 
What follows? Subject. 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 Oh my More. God. Okay. <laughs> now, this goes oh. with mind. Okay. And here you need a verb with ing again. And the complement. Okay. So let's see. Um, we were thinking, we were asking to ourselves, we were wondering, we were planning. Okay. And then if you could mind, if you would mind, that's the more proper thing to do. You will mind. Si te importaría, right? I hope you're getting it. That mind is not pensar. No, this is importar. If you will mind lending me your car. Now, students of advanced, what is the meaning of can? Really quick. Can. 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 Poder. Okay. Point. What is the meaning of could? Okay, so I'm going to make you some tricky yeah. questions right now. I what have is a question. It? Yeah. I have a question. Yes. After we use was word, uh, we have to necessary use in the ING or gerund. Can you paraphrase your question, Joaquin, again? Okay, when I when we use was word, uh -huh. we have to we have to use uh, ing or gerund. Not all the time. I mean, if you want to use it in the past continuous, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if not, I I was okay before her. Oh. I was okay before you. Yes. Um, Erasmus, girl, before I met you, I was F I N E fine. Mm -hmm. I was fine before I met you. Okay, so again, guys, can poder, right? Okay, yeah. how do you use it in the future? Okay, will. Okay, can you say I, I will can dance? No, 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 no. no. So how do you do it? I could. I would. I would. I would. Would. Dance. would. I would dance. I would can dance. No, but what is in the past? I could. Will is the future. I will be. I will be able to dance. Hey, I there could. you go, Sandra. Good job. I will be able, be able to dance. Yeah. To be able. That this is on your PDF on the PDF that I just sent you. Okay, these are complementary. Complementary. Um, models let's say since you cannot use can in the future you need be able to okay be able to i will be able to to mm -hmm. okay let's continue could what is the difference between could and might what is in the past one is in the past Good. Yeah. Might is probability probabilities. <laughs> I'm playing with your brain right now. Okay, what is the meaning of could and what's the meaning of might? It's the same, but with <laughs> might has a less probability. Okay, guys, this is very simple. Uh, might is like might is a future asking a permission. Might is more polite than than could. Okay, so how do you say podría llover? Probability, oh. possibility, possibility. It might, it might rain. Yeah. It, it might rain, rain because yeah. it's it out rain. of your control. Ah. You don't yeah. control the weather. Okay. How do you say ella se podría enojar? She could be angry. But she might get angry. But she's toxic. 
coach will be able to tell <laughs> Sandy. So, is so in it this in, case, it's might. Yes. If, if she's toxic, then it's out of your control. It, she might get angry. <laughs> she might get angry. I mean, she gets angry about everything. So she might. <laughs> got it? Yeah. Okay. Just um, hmm. If I get wet because of the rain, I could get in, I could get sick, right? I could get sick. That's out of that's in my control. So I, I'm not gonna get wet. I don't want to get sick. Make sense? That's yes. the difference between could and might. What's the difference between can and may? Can. Come on, hurry up. May is a permission. It's more polite. Can is a may is a permission. Is more polite. May is more polite. Probability. Can may, is a, you may want to say order. Ability. Can is can. more yeah ability more, more an order more an order, but may is probability too. Mm -hmm. You may want to get in English classes. A... You have to say like, "May I go to the bathroom, please?" Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you may want to give it a second thought. Okay. <laughs> what? Month. You may want to give it a second thought. What Don't... do you mean with that, teacher? What? What? Uh, what do you mean with that? Uh, second thought. Second thought. A second thought. Don't do things just because. Think about it. Okay. Can you see the screen? No, teacher. No. no right. Okay. No, it's gray. Okay. Among the pages of this PDF that I shared with you, you're going to find this page 12, the uses of each model, okay? We talked about ability, then we talked about can or can't, okay? Now, let's see, might, it might rain tomorrow, you see? Okay. It could rain tomorrow? Probably. Yeah, probability, okay? It's not a pro adequate. Not adequate to say about the rain with could because nobody has control of the weather. I could already read <laughs> and I was too. And here is in the past, ability in the past, and so on. Take a look at this uh, chart on page 12. It's very interesting. Okay. Must. Hey, <laughs> must. Obligation. 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 She must be his sister. Now, how do you use uh, models? Uh, it's very simple, guys. If you remember, um, if you remember the verb to be, okay, the same thing. Models are present oh, in yes, positive, negative, and questions form. You need a subject, yeah. then you need a model, and you need the verb. Okay. As simple as that. To the model, you will add the not. You will add the, the, the negative. Okay. So, and, and let, moving on, I, I really want to lend this, this thought. What is the meaning of would? Would. Podría. 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 Debería. Debería. No, should is debería. Should. Exactly, should is the idea, but what's the meaning of would? Would is uh, hmm. You're very close, Yancy. Would doesn't mean a thing. Would means ria. I, I don't have a tilde here. I'm sorry. Bye, would buy. Yeah, okay. Would So, would adds this particle to the verb. Would mm -hmm. afecta directamente el verbo agregándole la partícula R I A al verbo. Exactly. I will would buy. buy. I will eat. Yeah. I will jump. Oh, talking. Uh, when you say would, is talking in future, teacher? No, on real future. Ah, on real future, okay. Probability. Probability. Condition. 
conditional. It's a conditional. Typically, there will be a condition. If this happens, then this would happen. I, if, I will... have, if I have money, I will buy my house. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's a condition. I will eat if I was hungry. Okay. And so on. That that's the difference. And the same thing happens with will. Sure. What's the meaning of will? It's an auxiliary. Probably. Probably. Future. 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 It's future, but what's the meaning of will? Aria. Mm. No. Are. Are. Ah. Are. Are. De, ok. Ay, Perdón, y esto lleva tilde en la I, ría y tilde en la E. Re. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, this is future. Ok. Strictly future. Uh, with probability. Ok. With willingness. La palabra will por sí sola significa voluntad. Yeah. Ok. So es, no es probable que hagas uh -huh. la acción, que la lleves a cabo si dices con will. So I will eat. Comeré. I will sure. see you. Te veré. Sure. Hey. Um, salvaje. Will. Wild. 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 Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's different. Wild. A wild. Yeah. Into the wild. If God willing. Are you willing to learn English? And, uh, not to get excited. To okay. okay, now in general, guys, uh, to use models is the same structure. Subject, model, the verb on its base and form. Don't use ing, don't use ed. And okay. Or else you'll have our conversation. Somebody's speaking, but it sounds really far and I cannot see him. Okay, okay. Teacher, uh, one question. What about the one that is up to wheel? Out to? Ah, <laughs> thank you. Mean? Repeat, auto. 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 It's like a show. show. Auto. Auto. Yeah, no, it's the Auto. same as have to. Have to. Yeah. I, I have to, but it is it's similar Auto. to must. Auto. Okay. And the meaning basically is tener que. Auto. I ought to work. I have to work. I ought to work. Mm. I ought to work. I must work. Work. Okay. Deber, deber. Okay, but deber, a must. And this is the, oh, the must. Amazing. This is the most imperative model. Must. Okay. Deber. This is not used. Okay. Shall. Shall. Uh, this we're Deber using. Person? This Deber. is our archaic. Oui. Yeah. That's Shall. archaic. Oh my God. How, how do you. Deber. Archaic, thank you. Yeah, CH. Uh, um, I forgot. I, I don't. Something like that. I can't remember. Archaic. Archaic. No. I can't remember. Look it up. Okay, but that's archaic English saying shall and so on. We will continue tomorrow. Okay, make sure you study. You study this PDF. It's, gonna help you during the, your whole career yeah. hey Joaquin can you, can you share this part in, in whatsapp please what do you mean this part this um the models the last it's, model with, with it, yes. the last model the chart, the chart it's you, it's there right ah, the chart yes oh, it, it is there chart. yes it is before it's in pdf the chart before yeah. the oh the previous chart everything is on your whatsapp already Okay, please. Yeah, it is. Hold I on. do have a question, teacher. Who? What is the difference if I say help me out or help me? 
there's no there's no difference on those two can i use both of them you can use both indistinguently indistinguently mm, it's okay, okay. yeah sure. me out. okay last question The yes. To, the teacher has to go, please. I have to go. Last question. The, okay. Teacher, is the last chart the, with the, uh, that we saw before of the we see we saw before? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Everything is there. Here, okay. Joaquin. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you. Service. See you tomorrow. Well, thank thank you. tomorrow. Bye. Please Good night. Thank study. You. You. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Oh, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay.